So guys, today I said to make my meat pie in a different way to attract my customers or to make it like kind of more appealing to my customers. And I I was thinking of how to do it, but and then something came into my mind. I said to do it, do it this way. <laughs> so I'm sharing with you all. Just see. I took out this um this um spoon sieve, okay. This sieve you normally use when you are frying something. So I took it out and then I placed my short cross patch that I've rolled out on it. You can do it both ways, either at the back or inside. So whichever side you want. So first I did at the back side. So when you do it, just as I'm doing, you're going to place it on your empanada or meat pie cutter upside down then scooping your filling and then voila you are done then the second one i did it in the inside make sure you push it well so that it gets the design or the marks on the on the spoon okay so when you do you're going to place the part that has the design down and then the plus the part that it doesn't have the design up then scooping the filling apply your your seal or your glue or your water anyone you're using then you seal it okay so i tried to repeat the one of the base so that you guys see and literally that was how i i did all i had my design on the meat pies then again i was supposed to brush the top of these pies with egg wash before baking them but along the line, I discovered that I had no eggs. Then I had to resort to making my egg wash substitute, which I'll share with you all here. And I baked, I have these beautiful meat pies. <laughs> <laughs>